Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. And today I'll be reading Multi Character Exisner by me. So let's get into it. We true. We true hardly ever had outbursts. And hardly ever lashed out on you or anyone. He was very controlled with his own emotions. So it was unusual to see him like that. But most importantly, as you were partners, that was not the way that you expected to be treated. And that's why, when he lashed out on you, you were quite scared of what he was doing. Hey, Waitro, calm down. You're not usually like this. What happened? Don't ever talk to me, Wayan. Especially when I'm like that. Don't ever talk to you. You... You want me to go away? You ask him, feeling like you're upset and hurt. Maybe. Maybe I don't want you around. Especially if you're poking your nose into everywhere where you don't belong. Well, excuse me for caring about you. I... I just want to know what happened. What went wrong? And I said, it's none of your business. Enough. He yelled slamming his hand on the table, making you flinch back. And only then did he realize that he was acting quite out of sorts. That was not the way he should behave around you. That was never the way he meant things to be. And it wasn't like this. He didn't know what was wrong with him, but he knew something was, and it had to be fixed. But first... Why on? I... I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Enough. I've had enough, Mitro. I... I can't just accept being treated like that. I can't do this. I understand. I really do. And I'm sorry, Wyan. But just give me a chance. I said it's enough. I don't want this. And if this is how you intend to treat me whenever you get mad... Then I think, I think we're not meant to be. You say, you love him, deeply so. It's taking all the strength within you to be able to say those words. But you knew that you had to. And most importantly, you knew that there had to be something done about this. You could not accept that treatment. And so, you had to make that decision. Although it broke your heart. That's why you left him. That's why you knew you could no longer be together. Mitra was forever sorry for the way he dealt with you. For the way you showed his anger. And he tried to make it up to you. He sent you letters. Flowers. He knew that maybe you would not forgive him. But he wanted to make it up to you somehow. Whether or not you want to be with him in the end, it's your decision. And he will never be mad at you for it. He's only mad at himself. And the way he went out of line. Because he got stressed with something. Because he knows no matter what thing it was, he should have never behaved that way. Nothing in the entire world would have justified it. And that's why he deserved all of this. And none of it was ever an extreme reaction from you. That's what he believed. Kakushibu, he was usually very reasonable, very stable, and he did not lash out. You admired him. He felt like a rock, someone you could always rely on, someone you could always trust and love. But you had never seen him so angry. You had gotten back from being out and you had no idea what went with him, what even happened to get him to that state. But you only knew one thing. That this was not going to be resolved so easily. And there was no way you were going to be able to calm down anytime soon. So you just tried to be stable through this. Tried not to make him angrier. But nothing really worked. And soon he was slamming things down. And he broke a glass. And you couldn't help but be afraid. If you talk to him now, would he... Be violent with you? Right now, you were not so certain. 
an hour ago, he would have definitely disagreed to this. But either way things were, no time could change absolutely anything. And that's why you knew. You had to do something. Hey, you need to calm down. You can't keep acting like this. Just get out of here, Wyan. I don't want to take my anger out on you. You don't have to take it out on me to scare me. You're scaring me. Don't you see that? He looked up at you, and suddenly, it felt like his vision was clear again. And he was seeing you, the way you seemed to be afraid, slightly trembling, and guilt coiled around his heart. Hurting it with the way he hurt you. Moyan, I... I never meant to scare you. You know that. Well, I don't. He scared me in the end. I don't want this. I don't want you behaving this way. He looked at you for a moment longer, and you could see the guilt in his eyes, just how deep it ran, and the way he seemed to be so upset and disappointed with himself. All right. I... I promise you... I'll never act that way again. I'll never be like this. I'm sorry, my aunt. Please. Okay. Okay. I just need to calm down a little bit. And could you sleep outside tonight? I still love you. I'm just upset. And a little bit shaken after all of this. I understand. Whatever you want, I will do. He did as he asked, and he did not actually try to negotiate anything. He just hoped that in the morning, you would not have a clear mind and just kick him out, and tell him that you don't want him in your life again. He knows the way he behaved was unacceptable, but it felt like he was not in control of his own mind. He knows that he cannot let himself slip like this next time. He should never do anything like this, and risk hurting you or scaring you. He is an adult. He is responsible for his own actions, and he is responsible for what he does, as long as he is with you. And his emotions could not be used to excuse any of his actions, no matter how severe they are. And he knew that. He will make it up to you, no matter how hard he has to try. <laughs>